Uh, we have been sworn to secrecy not to discuss anything that took place at this meeting. I thought I was here to discuss something about the Crossroad Board meeting. Well, briefly, uh, Mr. Lipscomb, the controversy surrounding DLSP right now and the lack of a director, is that going to be resolved any time in the very near future? We have, uh, as I said before, Mr. McIntyre, we have been sworn to secrecy at this meeting not to even discuss it. I thought we would want to discuss the Crossroad Board issue. Right. That's why I've surrounded myself with these beautiful members. All right, on another point, is it mandatory, the next director of DLSP, that he be either brown or black? No comment. No comment. The city has lied all along. No, they have lied. They knew about, they knew about the January 21st ruling that they made. It was approved by the city council. And after those racist men sitting there saw the composition of the board, they changed the rules. They make their laws and they break their own laws. And the taxpayers of Dallas see the caliber of men that you have representing them. And they should shudder. It's, it's a case of trying to keep our people informed of changes brought about by uh, recent decisions in the courts uh, so that we can uh, understand them. Uh, many of the men who, will, who are attending today here and who will be coming back for the other three Saturdays are men who perhaps don't try criminal cases as often or as regularly as we do here in a metropolitan area. They may only, say, have three or four criminal trials a year in their particular uh, small county seat. And uh, it's, it's good for them to come and listen to our people from our office who full time, day in and day out, do nothing but just try criminal cases. They just go from one trial to another. And they get rather experienced at what to do and what it takes today to meet the, uh, the requirements in court. Mr. Kelly, why is it necessary to build an additional turnpike when there's already one turnpike and a new Interstate 20 highway planned for completion by 1974? Well, what this report shows is there's going to be a tremendous need for an additional corridor between Dallas and Fort Worth to handle approximately 200,000 cars a day between now and 1974. Now, that 200,000 cars a day is a, tre is a tremendous volume of vehicles, and that's in addition to what can be handled on 80, 183, and, uh, and uh, the new Interstate 20. So the only facility available to handle this additional traffic is the Dallas Fort Worth Turnpike, and it's about reaching capacity at, at approximately 90,000 cars a day presently. If you've been wondering what's going to happen at midnight Saturday when phase two of the president's economic package goes into effect, then join the crowd. There are people supposedly in the know who are not too sure exactly what is going to happen. News conferences are being held almost daily between Dallas-Fort Worth and Washington, D.C. And, of course, in all other parts of the country, as members of the Internal Revenue Service, the Office of Emergency Preparedness, administration officials, and you name them, try desperately to work out all the fine details. For the first 90 days of the president's wage and price freeze, the Office of Emergency Preparedness, normally a very small arm of the administration, has been handling all the phone calls and the complaints. But now... It's in the hands of the Internal Revenue Service, or at least it will be starting Monday. Within the guidelines issued and to be issued by the Cost of Living Council, headed up by Treasury Secretary John Connolly, the Price Commission, and the Pay Board, the Internal Revenue Service will act on requests for interpretations of the law and on appeals of any determinations that might be adverse to your interests. In addition, the IRS will continue to provide information to the public, investigate complaints, and will monitor compliance with those stabilization guidelines. The IRS will handle enforcement activities in connection with the largest segment of the economy. That would be those 83% of the businesses not required to report their increases to the pay board or the price commission. The IRS is also to conduct fact-finding investigations for the board and commission. Now, do you understand it? That's what I thought. Starting Monday, Phase 2 could very well be just as confusing as Phase 1. At the Federal Courthouse in downtown Dallas, this is Jim Mitchell, Channel 8 News on the Move.